Here are scenes from tonight's exciting episode. We're sorry, the demon you're summoning is unavailable. Haunted Encounter Adventures presents Ghosts at the Empire Ranch Sonora, Arizona Welcome back to another Haunted Encounter Adventures episode. Tonight, we explore an 1800s ranch in Sonora, Arizona and see if any ghosts would like to hang out with us and have a chat. This is going to be another exciting episode. With stunning scenery and ghostly encounters, this episode is not one to be missed. So kick back in your favorite chair, grab some popcorn, and let's get started. The Empire Ranch is a simple flat roof house made out of hand-casted adobe bricks between 1871 and 1874. It is located on 160 acres. In 1876, it was sold by William Wakefield to Edward Fish, who then sold it to Walter Vail. Vail operated the ranch until 1928, when it was then again sold to Frank Boyce. It was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1976. In its heyday, the ranch was one of the largest in Arizona. In 1988, the BLM acquired ownership totaling over 45,000 acres. 
Our friend Wendy from Ghost Crew from Southern Tucson will be joining us today in our adventure. Let's venture through the historic house before entering some of its rooms. Here we can see where the horses were kept on the ranch. As we enter our first room, the SLS camera picks up our first ghost apparition. I watched it float in front of me as it then started to change shapes before it disappeared. Now let's venture into one of the kitchens where food was prepared for the cowboys and staff. Here's where the dining room was located at, along with a walk-in freezer. We are in one of the bedrooms now, where Walter Vale and Herbert Hilltop stayed, who first established this ranch in 1876. As we walk into the next room, we find a bathroom with a shower. Apparently, one of the ghostly spirits who still haunt this ranch still enjoys the shower as the SLS camera captures him within the shower. Is this the ghost of one of the two men who established this ranch in the 1800s, or could this be someone else who lost their life here? As we look out the window, we can see it's a gloomy, cloudy day. Just right for a ghost hunt on this haunted ranch. We are now in one of the children's rooms.
see through the eyes of the SLS camera a ghost apparition standing in front of us here in the children's room. It then lies down on the floor and disappears. Did we just witness the past of someone collapsing and dying in this room? We now head into the children's bathroom. And the SLS camera once again picks up this ghost apparition standing in front of us. Then this ghost starts to ascend upwards as it seemed to climb up the walls. As I watched it, it headed over towards the door. Then Wendy walks through the doorway as the SLS camera then picks her up as it sees her energy. The ghost entity then stops and looks at her. Wendy then stretches out her hand as the ghost seems to be touching it. The SLS camera then breaks away from Wendy's energy and maps a ghostly being standing beside her. I watched him on the SLS as he seemed to be checking out Wendy. Wendy continued to hold out her hand as the ghostly entity seemed to be holding her hand. I was amazed on what I was looking at. Then the ghost on the left begins to get bigger as it starts to float up. It is now taller than Wendy, while the other ghost on the right continues to be around her. This was truly a historic event, as two ghostly spirits seemed to be hanging around someone at the same time. The ghost on the left then floats away from Wendy. Then it comes back, as Wendy now holds a light bulb waiting for the spirits to activate it. The ghost spirit on the right seemed to disappear, while the ghost on the left was interested in what Wendy was holding. It touches the light bulb a few times, but nothing happens. The ghost spirit was just floating in front of Wendy, when it then changed shape and went back into what looked like a person before it disappeared as the SLS camera once again maps Wendy's energy. We are now in the main kitchen of the house. I got a funny feeling as I was filming this room as I felt like someone was watching me. The SLS then confirms that I wasn't the only one here in this haunted kitchen as it picks up this ghost floating above me. <laughs> as I watched this ghost spirit float around, I couldn't help but wonder if this was a lost soul who used to cook here in this room. We were both looking at each other until it finally disappeared. Let's go take a look at the main dining room. If you listen closely, you can still hear the spirits having dinner. We're so
sorry, the demon you're summoning is unavailable. Please hold. As we take a closer look at the antique phone, the structured light sensor camera takes up energy of a ghostly spirit hanging around above the phone. Earlier that day, the phone was caught dialing on its own. Let's take a look at the main living room. This room felt kind of heavy. We must come back and do a spirit box seance. Let us fly through the window and explore outside of this haunted ranch. As we walk through this haunted forest of trees, I wonder who could be lurking around one of them. As we walk through the gate, we see one of many abandoned houses that is located on these haunted grounds. This two-room adobe house is called the Hired Man's House, and it was constructed in the early 20th century. A retired cowboy named Mariano Ferreira and his wife lived in this house in 1927. Let's see what else we can find through the trees of history. This abandoned house, like others in this forest, was once a family's house. But oh, what stories it could tell. Let's continue on down this lonely trail through ghostly trees. I really enjoyed walking through this haunted forest with this lonely trail, but I had to keep close watch out because I never knew if something was going to crawl out from behind the bushes 
to come creep up on me. Here we see an adobe hay barn constructed in 1880. It was made out of 16 inch adobe square blocks. An early 20th century fire caused some damage and a new roof was put on. We are now approaching the new ranch house constructed in 1954 for Poncho and Sherry Boyce who raised their four children here at the Empire Ranch. It's pretty incredible how these buildings made out of straw and mud are still standing today and has lasted all these years through the ventures of time. We have seen the ghostly spirits here on this ranch. Now let's return to the living room of this haunted house and make contact with them. Now, let's begin. Hello? Where are you? I'm here. Right here? Where? Where? <laughs> Where's here? What's your name? Andrew. Hello, who are you? We have made contact with a male and female spirit. Now Pam asks a question. Can you try to pick up my hair? What's your name? It has now started to rain. Can you see the rain? Can you see us? <laughs> now we venture into one of the children's room to perform a seance in there. What will the spirits have to say to us? spirits a question. Were you one of the spirits that we saw here earlier beside me? Standing right here. Where are you? On the roof? We'll see you later. Goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed this special Haunted Encounter Adventures episode. 
Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. We will see you next time on... Haunted Encounter Adventure.